how to add animated SVGs on your WordPress website. Let's find out. So we are going to use the plus add-ons for block editor and here we have a draw SVG block and using this we will be able to create animated SVGs like this one which will work on hover or after a delay and here are the different type of animations which we can use. So here we have delayed sync one by one and scenario sync SVGs. So we can give background color as well as we can change the color of SVGs itself. And we can also control the animation speed for all the SVGs that we add. So let's dive in in our WordPress backend and see how all this is done. Here in our plugin section, we have the plus add-ons for blog editor free as well as the pro version. And in order to create these animated SVGs, we only need the free version of this plugin. But if you want to create some amazing looking WordPress website, we highly recommend that you go with the pro version as well. And once we add the required plugins, we can now go to plus settings and then click on plus blocks. And here we need to search for SVG. And here is our draw SVG block. And as you can see, it's part of the free version of this plugin. And all we have to do is just turn on this block from here and then click on save. And now we are ready to add some animated SVGs on our site. So let's say we have this page on our site. And if we scroll down, here we have some services in the introduction section. And let's go ahead and add some SVGs above this. So we come back here in the page editor. So here, right above this heading, we want to add some animated SVG. So let's click on these three dots and then click on add before. Now, if you visit the plusblocks.com on the draw SVG block page, we have all these examples that you can use. So you can simply copy anything from this page. So let's say we want to add this section or maybe we want to use these SVG files here. So we can copy this from here and then we will take these SVGs from this section. So we come back here in our WordPress editor and here on the very top, we have the plus paste option. Let's click on this and this is going to paste that entire section on our page. So now we can just simply copy these SVG files from here. So let's click on this and we will copy this block from here and then we will paste it here. So on this page, if you like any design, you can simply go ahead and copy that and use it on anywhere on your site. And now if you just go ahead and get rid of this and let me show you how you can add this from scratch. So we click on add before from here, then search for SVG once again. And here is our draw SVG block. Let's click on this and here is our default SVG. And now we can go ahead and play around with the settings here. So here on the right hand side, we have the SVG option. First is the pre-built SVGs. So here on our website, we have some pre-built SVGs that you can simply add on your website. So you can choose any one of these listed here. So let's say we select this bulb idea. So this is the SVG right here. Or you can simply choose the custom upload option as well. So you can upload your SVG file here. And right here we have a link to a tool which can help you verify if the SVG file is safe to add on your website or not. So you can drop your SVG file here and you will be able to know if the SVG file is safe to add on your site or not. So where we can get some good quality SVGs. Here is a website. We will link that in the video description below. So on this site, you will get a lot of variety of SVGs that you can simply go ahead and download and use it for your website. Let's say we click on this one to download. And now if we come back here on this site, we can simply choose the file that we have just downloaded and drop it here. So we can see our SVG file. This is how it's going to look. And here we have some options. We can do the same animations here as well. But right now, let's go ahead and leave everything as it is. We can just go ahead and download this from here. And now if you come back here in our WordPress editor, we, we can now upload this SVG file in our media library. And from here with this edit icon, we can open our media library. So I have already uploaded my SVG here and here it is. So let's go ahead and click on this. So now we have our custom SVG file uploaded here. But right now let's change it back to pre-built SVGs. And once we have added our SVG file here, 
we have an option for layout after that. So we can arrange if you want to align this to left, center or right. So let's keep it on center. After that, we have the style section and here we can define the max width. So we can change the width of this SVG file right here. So I guess 100 is a good value. And then we can change the stroke or the border color. So here you can play around with the color palette. So maybe I'll paste the same color as our heading. After that, we also have an option for fill color. So if we turn this on, we can add a fill color to this SVG file. But right now, let's turn it off. After that, we have draw SVG animation. So here we can choose either you want to add delayed sync one by one or scenario sync for this animation. So right now, let's choose delayed. You can play around with all the options and see which one works best for you. And here we have the duration so we can change the value here. And based on that, our SVG file will be drawn here. Below this, we have extra options. And here we have the draw method which is on scroll or hover. So we can choose one of the options from here. So let's keep it on scroll. In the same way, we can just go ahead and copy this from here and then we can add it on all these three blocks. And now we can just change the SVG file from here. So let's go ahead and update this here. This is how it looks in the front end. So this is how easy it is to add animated SVGs in your WordPress website using the plus add-ons for block editor. So if you like this video, then make sure you give it a like. And for more WordPress videos like this, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. That's it for this one and I'll see you in the next video.